Welcome, yogis, to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see, hit a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and even push the bell to get future notifications. I've got a 45-minute Friday fly flow vinyasa practice for you today. So we're going to unveil our truth. We're going to practice living our truth, coming as you are, being the real you, and continuing to unveil the best version of you. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you. So when you're ready, go ahead and if you've got the playlist, you're gonna go ahead, walk over, and hit that play button. And then you're going to start the playlist right at the top. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you don't have it, no worries. But just come to the top of your mat if you're just joining. I'm Susan Smelt. I'm going to be your guide. Let your feet be right at the width of your hips. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, John. Then soften your knees. Sweep your arms out and up on the breath. In and pull your hands right to heart center on the breath out. Now go ahead and close your eyes. Let your chin bow down to your chest. And before we even begin to move today... If you should have a purpose, it could be a wish, could be a prayer for your practice today. Just continuing to seek out those layers that can fade away so we can unveil our true selves. So if that brings to heart an intention, let it be sealed in. And then with your eyes open, lift your arms up, breathe in, keep your arms up, lace your hands inside out and press the thumbs forward and pinkies back. Let your hands rest right on top of your head. It is far more powerful to live your truth than to speak it. Rotate up and over to the left. Pull that left elbow back as well as the right hip. Come back to the center and twist over to the right, pulling the left hip back, letting the rotation come in the upper body. Come back to the center, levitate your arms back up. Now soften your elbows, soften your knees and take a side bend. Come back to the center, lift up and over to the left. Let that right side body extend. Come back to the center, release it all in a swan dive down. Hinge, bend and fold. Let your hands be placed maybe on your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, pull yourself together, bow down, rise back up, breathe in, stretch your arms out and up. Exhale, collect your hands and dive right back down to that fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bow, root to rise, keep that going, breathe in, look up, gather all that is good, all that is yours, that truth in your life. Then let your heart lift up. Exhale, fold back down. This time, heel toe your feet all the way together and rise up, stretch out high to the sky and keep your arms lifted. Left hand forward, right hand back, right hand into back pocket. Lift the left arm up bicep by your ear and lift up and back for a standing back bend. Lift the arms back out and up, stand tall, right hand forward, left hand back. Now slip that left hand in your back pocket. Let the right arm bicep by your ear, lift out of your ribs, your side bodies, and then lift up 
and back. Now collect your hands and dive down, cascading over your legs. Heel toe your feet back, either to the width of your hips or maybe even further. Bend your knees and come right into ragdoll. So you're going to hang out in a little ragdoll. Ragdolls just have that property of hanging out, letting any kind of tension in your face, in your tongue, in your jaw, just let it spill right out onto your mat, even by a gentle sway and even possibly a gentle shake of your head. Anything you're worried about, anything you're undecided about any doubt, any doubt you can do without. So just shake it out. Let that, yes, that true truth that is always, always right. Be unveiled as you shake your head with that. Yes. Knowing you are exactly where you belong today. No coincidence you're here. Now lower the hands down, take the right toes on the diagonal, bend the right knee, pull the left hand to the left hip, maybe levitate that left arm up, draw the right hip back, use the outer edge of the left foot to leverage that opening. Now rock back and forth almost so your toes lift up and your heels lift up. So you're just guiding and sliding back and forth, just a couple of inches. It's like a tense. If you want more than that, go ahead and wrap a half bind, left hand on the top of the right thigh. Now release all that down, shake your head out again, and let the right toes come in. Left toes are going to create that 45 degree angle. Left knee bends, left hip draws back. Peel that right arm up, breathe in, and then go back to that shift. Pull the toes up, lift the heels, pull the toes, lift the heels. Just back and forth, very little shifts. Maybe a little more with the right hand on the top of the left thigh, peeling that right shoulder blade back. And then stabilize, pull the toes parallel, bow down, lace your hands behind your back. Maybe let your shoulders rinse. Now release that connection, heel toe your feet all the way together and rise all the way up, stretch up high, look up, breathe in, dive back down, hear your own breath to create that clarity, inhale and lengthen, step your right leg back, dip the back knee down and bring your hands right onto that left femur bone. Now push off of that thigh as your hips dip. Now stretch your arms out and up, breathe in, and then take that right hand forward, left hand back. Slip the left hand in the right, either hip pocket or on the outside of the right hamstring. Arc up and back. Now collect your hands at heart center. Hinge and twist, right upper arm on the outside of that left front thigh. Now engage that right cap, kneecap, lift it up and press your palms together. Now you might stay there or you might open high to low, stacking your shoulders, your wings, your arms. Now come up and around nice and slow, warrior two. Breathe in your second warrior. Michael Angelo has a nice way of putting it. He says the sculpture is already complete within the marble block before he starts his work. It's already there. Stay and breathe. He just has to chisel away the unnecessary material arc up and back peaceful. Now pinwheel your hands down. Step your body in to high plank pose. Let your shoulders be stacked over your wrist. Pull your ribs in. Round that upper back. Now take your knees down. Shift your hips back to your heels. Child's pose. Breathe out. 
Inhale, breathe in, draw your heart through the gateway of your arms. Your big toes are touching. Dip your hips, tap the top of your head. Exhale, draw up and back, navel into spine, hips to heels. Inhale, rise back up, big toes together, dip the hips, tap the top of the head. Exhale, draw up and back, bow down, balasana. Last time, inhale, draw your heart through the gateway of your arms, drop your hips, tip your gaze up. Then lower your elbows down, straighten your legs out, chin reaches down to the earth, and then rise back up, Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower back down. You already have everything you need. Rise back up, breathe in to realize those wishes, those prayers, those dreams. Now the third one, maybe up dog, palms of hands, tops of feet. Let the crown of your head lift, your shoulder blades draw together. Exhale, up and back, down dog. Now, pedal through your feet a little bit in your down dog, pressing your heels back behind your second and third toe, just stretching out the Achilles, stretching out the calf muscle. Then on the in-breath, pop both of your heels up. On the out-breath, shift your heels to the right. Bend your knees, hips to heels, peel that left arm up, even look up. Left arm up and overhead. Maybe spiral your gaze up and under. Got to breathe. Come back around. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Cycle through the feet one more time. Couple of presses back of that heel. Maybe even ignite a pedaling of the hands. Yeah, just making that shift. Now, pop your heels up again, breathe in, shift your heels to the left, drop your hips to your heels, peel that right arm up, and then overhead for a nice long side body stretch. Beautiful, come back around, down dog. Let the right leg lift back behind your body. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes, roll that right ankle around your foot, right around your ankle, circling, fanning your toes out. And then pull the knee to the nose, your hips are high. Now lower the shin to hover, pull them back up, stretch that right leg back, turn open at the hip. Do that again, knee to nose, hips are high like a cat. Hover the shin, pull it back in and up, stretch it up and back, turn open at the hips, stay right here, or flip for a little wild thing, inside out, right arm up and over, breathe, right arm lifts, bring it around, right knee, right tricep, step it up, Malasana, that yoga squat right at the top of your mat, hands right to your heart center. Now lift out of your hips, really feel that stability of the feet beneath your body, planting you down. Now rise up, look up, open up to this day. Exhale, come back down, breathe out. Do that again. Inhale, rise up, breathe in, look up. Exhale, come back down. Third time, stay up. Root to rise up, stay up, breathe in, open up the heart, the chest, heel toe, your feet back together, find that solid planting, reconnect, reset, then lift your arms back up with a swan dive, hinge bend and fold, bow down. Inhale and lengthen. Take that left leg, step it back behind your body on its own track of train. Dip the knee to the earth. Slip your hands right on the right femur bone. Push down and then offer the arms up. Breathe in. Now take a parting of the arms. Left hand forward, right hand back. Look over the left index finger. Take the right hand behind to the left hip pocket. 
Maybe slide it down that left hamstring. Arc up and back. Now collect your hands at heart center. Left upper arm hinges on the outside of that right front thigh. Maybe you stay, maybe you open. Now back kneecap lifts up. Come up and around, stay low. Warrior two. You've already got what you need inside. Inside, settle in, settle down. Press into the outside edge of that back left foot. Steady your gaze. Flip that right palm for a little peaceful. Pinwheel your hands down. Step the right leg back to meet the left. High plank pose. Dip down, chaturanga. Inhale, back up. Dip back down. Inhale, back up. Take your body up and back. Down dog. Pop the heels up again, breathe in, shift into high plank, shift forward, bend your arms, point your toes, rise up, cobra or up dog, hold, take it up and back, down dog, breathe out and come back to that dog, pedal through your feet again, on the inhale you're going to lift both of your heels up. Shift your heels to the left this time. Drop your hips. Peel the right arm up and overhead, looking up and under that right arm. Come back around. Pop the heels back up. Shift them to the right. Drop the hips to the heels. Sweep that left arm down. Create that stability. Breathe and hold. Come back around into your down dog. Let the left leg lift up. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Spread the toes. Circle that left foot around your ankle. Create some mobility, some fluidity. Now reverse that direction. Everything you already need, you've already got. Now, left knee right up the center line. The hips are going to stay high. Then lower the shin down with the hips. Pull it back in and up. Stretch it back. Three-legged dog. Turn open at the hip. Do that again. Knee to nose. Pull it in. Hover the shin. Uddiyana Bandha. That abdominal engagement. Mula Bandha. Pull it in and up. Stretch it up and back. Turn open at the hips. Stay or flip inside out, come across enough for a little wild thing, a little TGIF Friday wild thing. It is far more powerful to live your truth than to speak it. So bring it around, walk the walk, talk the talk, left knee, left tricep, tap it up high, step it outside, hop up the right foot, this time, Peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, pump the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, pull yourself together, bow down. Inhale, one more time, pull the big toes up, breathe the heart in, lift up. Exhale, sneak the elbows in, pull yourself back together as you bow. Now release your finger pads, heel toe your feet, all the way together, rise up, stand tall, breathe in, exhale, dive back down, breathe out, inhale and lengthen, I want you to step or float back to chaturanga, that low push up, hold, hold and breathe, high plank, exhale back, down dog, pop your heels up, Take your knees wide, drop them, hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, rise up, big toes, touch the top of your head. Exhale, take it up and back. Two more, inhale, rise up, big toes, touch, tap the top of your head. Exhale, up and back. Last time, breathe it in, dip the hips, tap the head. Now, straighten the legs, lower your body all the way down. Inhale, rise up, maybe cobra, maybe up dog, palms of hands, tops of feet. Exhale, 
Take your body up and back, down dog. Now with your feet moving in a little bit and even a touch closer together, take the right hand and dive it under the left. Right hand dives under to reach toward possibly the heel, possibly the calf, even the thigh, whatever works for you. Now you can stay right here or with that stability, maybe you pick up the right leg. So you're balancing on left hand, left foot, right leg lifts. Now release it all back down. Pop your heels up, knees go wide, hips to heels. It's a fake launch. Come back to that short down dog. Lower the heels back down in the direction toward the earth. Left hand spins to the outside of the right. Take your gaze up and under. And then if you want to go further, really find that stability. Plant the right hand and the right foot. Maybe you lift that left leg up. Find that balance. From the inside out, you've already got everything you need. You've got that balance inside. Just let it be unveiled. Release it all down. Hands down, feet down. Now you're in a shorter little down dog. We're going to do a little rapid fire flying. Three to five of those Shakti kicks. So pop your heels up. Bend your knees, hop up, thighs to chest, heels to bum. Try it a couple of times. Think light thoughts. See if you can elevate with the gripping of your mat, your hips up over your shoulders. Breathe. And then on the fifth one, you're going to land in Utkatasana, chair pose right at the top of your mat. Utkatasana. Ah, brush and sweep your hands alongside your body. Inhale, stand up, hook your thumbs, open up like a body wave. Exhale, brush and sweep. A little buoyancy, inhale, open up. Exhale, brush and sweep. Inhale, open up. Last time, exhale, take a brush and sweep. Inhale, open up, stay standing. Left hand forward, right hand back. Right hand, hip pocket. Lift up and arc back. Come back to the center. Stable, steady. Recollect your stability. Right hand forward, left hand back. Let it be through your breath. Left hand back pocket. Right arm lifts, arc up and back. Exhale, cascade down. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float back. Chaturanga and hold. High plank. Exhale back. Down dog. Inhale, shift. High plank. Lower all the way to your mat. Inhale, point your toes. Cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, take your body up and back, down dog it. Let the right leg lift, turn open at the hip. Pull the knee right up to the nose. Step it up, crescent lunge. Levitate your arms up, breathe in. Shift right into standing L shape. Breathe out. Sneak the left leg next to the right, chair. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Ring it out. Left upper arm on the outside of the right front thigh. Hold right here. Hold and breathe. Now look down at the right big toe. Pull in the left heel. Stay little, stay low. Stretch back that left leg. Find that place of balance. Let the left leg land. Twisted crescent. Maybe you open up. High to low. Up and around, warrior two. Flip that right palm, straighten the right leg, reach up and back. Pinwheel your hands down, move your body through that flow. If you want to take it out, you can. If you want to kick it up, you can. 
whatever serves you best, but find balance. In your practice, in your life, living your truth, your truth. We already have that truth. We just need to listen by letting anything blocking it be carved away, melted away. Left leg lifts, turn open at the hip. Knee to nose, one time, just pull it in tight. Step forward, crescent lunge, rise up, breathe in. Shift into that L shape. Elevate that left, right inner thigh up, balance on the left leg. Maybe point the right toes. Right knee to nose, step it in. Utkatasana chair. Collect your hands, wring it out. Right upper arm on the outside of the left front thigh. Stay with it. Pull up the right heel. Look down at the left big toe. Steady and stable. Heart might move forward. Right leg stretches back. Set the right leg down. Twisted crescent. Maybe you open up. High to low. Keep that left knee tracking over the second and third toe. Stable and steady. Up and around, stay low. Warrior two. Flip that left palm, peaceful. Straighten that left leg. Reverse your triangle, Uttita Trigonasana. Pinwheel your hands down like a windmill. Move through that flow. You choose the exit. You want to do a little lift, a little float, a little fly. Always know you've got that option. You create stability in your life from the inside out. Not being moved by all those external circumstances. Live your truth. Be free to be me. Come back to down dog. Walk your feet in a little. Really grip the mat with your hands. Now, here we've got options. One step float fly to the top of your mat. You choose, but we're going to come to chair. So pop your heels up. On the exhale, bend your knees. Step float fly, feet to your hands right at the top of your mat. Once you get there, find that chair pose and collect your hands right at heart center. Gotta breathe. Left upper arm on the outside of the right front thigh. Hold, hold and breathe. Pull that left heel up. Look down at the right big toe. Stretch the left leg back. Twisted crescent. Maybe you stay, maybe you open. Now, up and around warrior two. Take the left hand, come on top of the right thigh. Flip the right palm, half bound, peaceful. Float up, half bound, half moon. Reach that left leg up. Now, possibly connect to that Chapasana variation. If you've got it, release it. Left hand down, you're going to barrel roll around, right arm's going to lift up. Now, maybe you want to bend the left leg and catch it for a reverse chapasana connection, but then release it and step back, modified, revolved, lunge. Heel toe the right foot back, look down at the left foot, come to the outer edge, Right arm up and over, bottom left hip lifts. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise back up. Use your breath. Exhale, lower down. Use the strength of your body. Rise back up. Last time, exhale, lower down. Inhale, come back up. Come back around. Drop your forearms down and come to forearm plank. Tap your knees, just side to side, breathe. Tap the knees and breathe. Now hold, lower your hips all the way down. Point your toes, 
sphinx pose. Lift your heart up. Breathe in. You might have to do a little adjusting. Exhale, lower down. Maybe baby seal. Rise up to this day. Point the toes. Lift the heart. Breathe in. Exhale, back down. Breathe out. One more time. Either sphinx, staying here, dragging your forearms back and your heart lifting or elevate right up. Live your truth. Come as the real you to your mat. Move any given day in your way. Now, hands slide back, toes tuck under, up and back you go, down dog. Now you're gonna walk your dog in a little bit, but just stay right here. Breathe in and out through your nose. Continue to create stability in your body, in your life, on your mat and off. Know that your breath has the power to keep you in this place. Now, one more time, we're going to hop to the top, but don't go yet. Begin with the end in mind. Kind of take a peek in your head. Visualize where you're going, and we're going to hop just one time, your style, your choice, to Utkatasana chair pose. All together, pop your heels up. Breathe in. Exhale. Bend your knees. Hop, float, fly. Feet to your hands right at the top of your mat. Stable and steady. Coming to that chair pose. Utkatasana. Holding and breathing. Holding and breathing. Hands to heart center. Wring it out. Twist it. Right upper arm on the outside of that left front thigh. Now stay. Stay. Let your thumbs come into the center of your chest and pull the right hip back. Now, take a sneak peek down at that left big toe. Pull in the right heel. Stay. Use the core. Stretch the right leg back. Point even the right toes if you like that better. Then let the right leg land on its own track of terrain. Use that right upper arm to leverage that rotation. Twisted crescent. Breathe. Now, up and around. Warrior two, you might have to adjust a little. Now take that right hand to the top of the left thigh, maybe to the small of the back. Flip the left palm, half bound, peaceful. Float up, half bound, half moon. Pull the left hip back, elevate the right leg up. Unravel the bind, bend the leg. Maybe catch a Chapasana connection. Release it, square up your hips, barrel roll around. Let that left knee possibly soften to get that balance. Right hand down, revolved half moon, left arm lifts. Possibly bend the right leg, catch it, kick the shin back, breathe. Super slowly, release the right leg back, left arm up. Modified, revolved lunge. Now, heel toe this left foot. Bring it back. Look down at the right foot. Line it up in the center of your mat. Pinky edge side. Left foot comes back. Left arm lifts up. Left arm up and overhead. Bottom right hip rises. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise back up. Lift up that true self of yours. Lower back down. Unveil, unwrap those layers that don't serve you. Just like Michelangelo said, the true self, it's already inside. You just have to chisel away the stuff that is unnecessary. Come back around. This time, drop the forearms. Walk the feet in and come into dolphin, hold, breathe. Now lift your elbows up, pop your heels up, bend your knees, 
drop the knees wide, hips to heels, child's pose. Now, from your child's pose, you've got options. Either stay there for a little thank God asana, or you could come to the inversion of your choice. You could come to sheer shasana A or B headstand. You could handstand. You could dolphin. I'm going to move into classical headstand. So you guys get to choose, but find a place that serves you best. If you're going to classical with me, maybe you find that little tucked ball. Maybe it's a pike. Whatever serves you but then press rather than use momentum. Steady your gaze. See if there's a way to hug your ankle bones together to get even taller than you already are. You can get taller doing yoga. Ah, you unveil that continual true self. Now, when you're ready, come right back down as slow as you went up. This time, I want you to find embryo pose, which is hands brushing alongside your body. Flip your palms up and rest your head down. So this is back to that place where it all began. Now walk your hands up your thighs, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up off of your heels on the inhale, tee the arms on the exhale, and lace some eagle arms, right arm under, Garandasana arms arc up and back. Exhale, brush and sweep, take a dive down, hands connect to the outside edges of your feet. Walk your hands back up your thighs. Reach the arms out and up, breathe in. Tee those arms, goal post, breathe out. Left arm under, either wrap a hug or maybe those Garandasana eagle arms, arc up and back. Exhale, brush and sweep. Bow down, back to planet earth. Now on the inhale, left hand, left heel or hip pocket, right arm circles around. Exhale, bow back down. Nice and slow, there is no rush. Right hand, right heel, possibly right hip pocket, arc up and back. Just continue to move through these two poses, adjusting as needed and just letting there be a little saja movement, a little flow, a little free flow style. Be free to be me. That's you saying that. Open up to this day. Ground down, rise up. Find peace and stability when you live and choose to live your truth. Last time, and each side. And then you're going to bow back down, but I want you to stay down. Let your head come down to the earth. Lace your hands. Let your shoulders rinse up and over. Rabbit. Maybe pick your feet up. Circle them around. Get some mobility. Reverse that direction. Now release that connection. Hands go down, elevate the knees up, come in to down dog. Lift the right leg up, bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Now you could stay right here or lift the left heel, shift it over to the right. Now your leg is on a 45, the right hand stays planted, the left arm reaches back, maybe to catch that right leg. Kick the shin up a little scorpion style. Release. Let the left heel spin parallel. Pull the right knee in. Step it up. Warrior 
one, rise up. Now lace your hands behind your back, slide them down the backside, look up, exhale, dive down, humble. Release that connection, modified revolved lunge. Dip down the left knee, back to the beginning, offer the left arm up, exalt it. Pinwheel your hands down. Shoot the right leg back, three-legged chaturanga. Right leg joins the left. Rise up. Exhale, up and back. Breathe out. Downward facing dog. Let that left leg lift. We're coming home. Turn open at the hip. Stay here or pop the right heel up. Shift it to the left and stabilize that left hand. Now, maybe you tent the right finger pads and visualize that possibility of reaching the right leg, or maybe you head in that direction. Matters not. If you can catch it, kick it back, pump the heart up. Release it, spin that Right heel parallel, left knee to the nose. Hips are going to be high. Step up, line the heels up. Virabhadrasana one, stable and steady. Lace the hands behind your back, slide them down the backside. Exhale, dive in. The sculpture is already complete before Michelangelo even began his work. His work was to chisel away anything unnecessary, anything blocking, anything hindering that truth, that statue beneath, that real you. Peel the left arm up, breathe, modified revolve lunge. Dip down the right knee, super slow, exalted arc up and back. This time, come to the top with your hands, left knee, left wrist, pigeon pose. Right leg reaches back and take that privilege of diving on down. Now you're getting a nice stretch in that left hip. If the hip is really high, <clears throat> maybe you put either a block or a t-shirt underneath, but bow down with your head and just allow. Sometimes we have to just make the decision to allow things that do not serve you to pass you by. Focus on the things that you've got. Continue to cultivate that attitude of gratitude. And if you're struggling, get a journal and write down things that you're grateful for. If you're struggling with someone, write down attributes they have that are most Wonderful and awesome. Now, switch it up. Pigeon on the opposite side. Right knee, right wrist, right heel, top of the left thigh bone. And then take your body on down. Take your time. Dive in to this place where you can surrender Anything that's not the real you, living in truth, telling the truth, seeking the truth in your life is going to be that example. You can be that change you want to see happen in this world. Walk the walk. Talk the talk. Walk your body up. And you're just going to come around. Now, we're going to come to a comfortable seat right at the top of our mat. Now, if you have time for Shavasana, always know that you can take 5, 10, 15 minutes 
and bask in this place of bliss. Now levitate your arms up. Breathe in that truth. Collect it. Living your truth as you seal your purpose right into your heart. Let it bring clarity. Let it bring peace. Let it bring love that you can share. Now finish off with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Home. Now let that universal vibration of the ohm continue to connect us. Go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time.